Hello, hello, Comic Book Nation. Chris Killian here, returning from across the pond just for you to hand deliver your second printing featuring the top stories of the week, and this week was a doozy. Between the stuff we learned at D23 on down to that new Joker trailer that everyone is praising, there was so much news it was almost overwhelming, but don't hyperventilate just yet. Allow me to pilot through this storm of nerd news while you relax and drink your cocktails, no judgment, and just let me recount the best stuff you may or may not have missed. Up first, let's talk about the massive announcements from D23. Around the beginning of D23, rumors really began to ramp up that Kevin Feige was courting Kit Harington to join the MCU, and speculation ran wild as to who Kit might be playing, with the consensus seeming to land on the fact that Jon Snow was gonna be our new Wolverine. He's perfect, right? He's gruff, he's short, and he's also got mad experience with killing the women he loves. But sadly, it was not to be. Just as I was getting my hopes up, it was revealed that Kit Harrington is joining the cast of The Eternals to play Dane Whitman, AKA the Black Knight. If he's not gonna be our new Logan, well, here's hoping he at least gets to rock this super awesome bomber jacket. D23 also showed us the first clip of Black Widow and unveiled a new poster for the film which gives us our first glance at what David Harbour is going to look like as Red Guardian. We also learned Black Panther 2 will be released in May 2022, which is almost three years away so let's just move on before I get sad. As if we didn't have enough reasons to spend our hard earned $7 a month on Disney+, Plus, Marvel unveiled three additional shows being added to the streaming service, including Ms. Marvel, She-Hulk, and Moon Knight. We also got confirmation that Disney+, Plus won't be hosting posting R-rated content, so while Moon Knight might be a little darker than some of their other stuff, it will still not likely venture into R-rated territory like some of the Netflix shows. But Star Wars wasn't about to let Marvel get all the glory, and they dropped the first trailer for The Mandalorian, and what can I say about it that hasn't already been said? It looks amazing. And that wasn't even the big kicker of D23. That belonged to the second trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. If you've already rewatched Rey flip out a double-sided red lightsaber a million times, what's one more? And what about this poster? Woo! I need a moment, guys. An interesting interview with Robert Downey Jr. took place in the new issue of Disney 23 Magazine where Downey spoke about why it was time for him and Chris Evans to get off this crazy roller coaster ride that is the MCU. He said, we had to get off, we opted to, and knew it was part of the job to get off the bus while it rolled on to other destinations. Downey continued by saying, there's something very sobering about it. I'm glad he and I will be there to welcome others as they retire their jerseys. I need a moment, guys. For a bit of DC news, let's transition over to the new trailer for the second season of Titans. For all of the disappointment I might have felt over the way DC Universe canceled Swamp Thing, I've got to admit, they've got an awesome tone set for Titans. It seems to really be building on top of everything I enjoyed about the first season, and I'm stoked to check out season two, but not as stoked as the entire internet seemed to be over the new Joker trailer. According to Todd Phillips, Joaquin Phoenix lost 52 pounds for the role, wanting to portray a complex character as opposed to a cartoon villain, and mission accomplished. For this reboot of The King of Comedy, not only does Joaquin's take on the Clown Prince of Crime feel complex, I felt complex watching it, because I think it's likely going to be a really great movie. I also feel like I'm not going to have any fun watching it. And that does it. BD will be back next week, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Second Printing. If you guys want to keep the conversation rolling, feel free to jump in on the comments or hit me up on Twitter at Chris Killian. And obviously, stay on comicbook.com for the best geek news.